Well, two weeks ago, I highlighted to the public my professional concern about what these funding cuts might mean for policing in the county. And in the last two weeks, we've done a lot of work within the constabulary trying to exemplify exactly what it will mean for policing. And it doesn't make for pretty viewing. Uh, so effectively, what I'm flagging up is that we will go from a good force, HMIC gridded good, uh, which is a, a proactive force, a preventative force, a force that tries to stop harm happening to people before it actually happens, a, a, a force that protects the public, to one that is simply a reactive force. In other words, we uh, wait for a call to come into our command and control room and then we go and deal with the issue after it's happened. And that's never been the strength of policing in this county. Uh, and I don't think that's the service that the public of Cumbria expect or indeed deserve. So I've written a very carefully considered calm letter to the police minister setting out clearly what I believe to be uh, my professional concerns on what the impact will be in Cumbria and I'm hoping that he will take notice of what we say. Well I asked the public to take notice of what we were saying uh, and they have done that and I'm very grateful for their support. Uh, the local media have run a campaign very effectively uh, and we now have uh, in excess of 12,000 people who have signed a petition expressing their concern to the Home Office about potential changes to funding uh, of the police in Cumbria. Uh, and we, you know, we are the public, the public are the police, the police are the public. We're there to protect them and I really appreciate that they have come out and stood beside us uh, and showed their support to our staff uh, and their concerns to the Home Office about uh, what might happen to policing in the county. Right, well, it's my expectation that this is a consultation. If, if it's an honest and real consultation, I would expect to have the courtesy of having our views listened. Uh, I've written in a very calm and considered fashion. Uh, and what I hope doesn't happen is that I get a Pavlov's dog response that goes something like, crime is down. It isn't. They're crying wolf. I'm not. So I'm hoping I don't get any of that. I'm hoping I receive a, a, a proper considered listen and that the public of Cumbria who have expressed their views and concerns that they deserve to be properly listened and have their views taken into account. Uh, I have invited the police minister to come to Cumbria so that we can have a proper discussion with them about these issues. I think police funding is best decided uh, on local knowledge rather than numbers pumped out of a spreadsheet. So I'm hoping that we can persuade the Home Office uh, to think again, that Cumbria has got some specific unique features uh, that um, need to be taken into account before any funding formula is agreed. Uh, and I'm hoping that we will be able to protect policing the county.